in this video, I want to get started on the actual building portion. So, well, not necessarily the building, but the uh, the part attachment. So, as you, for example, you place down a foundation, I want to build a snack wall and, you know, build a place and snap to the corners and all that fun stuff. So, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. This is my first time ever even attempting it, especially considering since we are using instanced meshes, uh, the complexity has really increased a decent bit so it might be a little bit of a struggle to get this to work right so bear with me anyways uh to begin what i want to do is i kind of want to break this up into chunks so we have set build position that is running on tick in our character so if we're in the build mode and our builder is valid we basically call set build position in our builder and pass in the hit result of our line trace so I want to use that. Basically, that's what's drawing this. It's placing this where we want it. So I want to use that. And in it, I want to also have kind of a test. So if, for example, we hit a item such as, you know, our building, like let me go ahead and place one down. If we hit this with it, so we go over and our line trace hits it, I want to, it to determine which one is the closest foundation, or not the closest foundation, but which socket is the closest. So we got to kind of figure that, kind of set up that up and figure that out. So I want to do a test. So what I'm going to do is in building visual.h, I want to have a couple of functions and just kind of go from there. So because we're going to be using our building class more than once, I'm going to go ahead and forward declare this at the top of our class instead like so and let's make a function with it so a building is going to be the return type it's going to be a pointer let's let's do um hmm. uh get it building actor i guess and see if that works so from there we can kind of pass in the hit result and check in whether or not we hit it so we're going to pass in a const F hit result, we're passing it by reference, hit result. So this is just there to kind of clean our code up in here so we don't have any sort of casting or anything like that going on. So what we want to do first is if, let's go ahead and we're just going to flat out cast it. So what you can actually re do is return, we're going to cast from, or we're going to do cast a building from hit result dot get actor and that alone because casting is null pointer safe it should return it for us so now basically all we're doing is we want to check and see if we hit it and from there we want to have a function inside of this uh, class here to figure out what socket we are going to be closest to with our hit results location so this is Basically, this function here is to get us onto this class. That's really all it is. So if we have a blocking hit, obviously that's fine. Here we want to do our checks instead. So if get hit building actor, we're going to pass in hit result. And let's go ahead and assign this to a building. Oops. Hit building equals gotta call it again get hit building actor from here we want to let's see i gotta think about this for a minute all right so i did a little bit of thinking and what we're going to end up finishing up in this video is we want to get the hit building which we have right here and i also want to figure out one we need to test see which you know which instance mesh we actually hit so we want to check and see whether or not we hit you know, the foundation or a wall and so on. And we want to kind of return the index that was hit. So from here, we want to create a function on our building. So let's go ahead and let's see. How do we want to do this? We could honestly probably end up making a struct for this, which since we're just testing with the foundation, I'm not too concerned about it right now. So for the time being, all we are going to do is return an index. So we're going to do int32. Let's do get hit index. We're going to pass in the const 
f hit result hit result and of course it pasted it right in the header right, so let's go to the cpp file go down to the bottom and we're going to paste it in there so what we're going to do is we're going to get our get our foundation so foundation instance mesh we want to we search for sphere we can do get instance instances overlapping sphere now we want to pretty much return the first index of these so the first parameter is going to be the center so where the hit is so we can do hit result dot get or sorry it's just called i think location yep and then from there we want the radius so i'm just going to do two and sphere and world trace is true by default so that's where we're going to leave it as now we just got to assign it into a, a t array of int 32 and let's call it hit indexes so from there what we can do is well just return the first index but first we got to do a check so if hit indexes dot num make sure we do have an element in there we want to return hit indexes at element zero so we're going to return the first hit index and then from there if all that fails we just want to return negative one so we can do a test if negative one is returned we hit nothing that's invalid so that'll kind of invalidate our, invalidate our results all right so let's go ahead and do int 32 hit index equals hit building get hit index and pass in the hit result and from there we can do a check for now we're just going to print it out so if it index does not equal negative one we still want to regardless print out a log so you log log temp warning text hit index percent t hit index so this should allow us to see what index we actually hit so i'm going to close down the editor and recompile all righty now that that's done let's go ahead and open up our Let's see, I gotta figure that out. Where's the output log? Oh, duh, it's right here. Alrighty, let's hit play. And go beta building mode. Let's go down to the bottom, make sure I can see. Press F. Alright, so we're at hit and index is zero. So let's clear that out. And when we hover over it, Hit index negative one, index zero. So at certain angles, that seems like it's hitting negative one. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what that is hitting, but it's only at certain angles. So we're just going to have to kind of, I guess, visualize the sphere trace or the hit there. So let's try drawing, drawing a debug sphere. So let's see, what is it? Get, uh, is it get world or? Draw debug, yeah, draw debug sphere. And to do that, we have to include draw debug helpers.h. So draw debug sphere. Let's see, what are the other parameters? If it'll show me. I'm an idiot. All right, so we need the world, so get world. The center is going to be the hit result dot location. Then we have the radius, so two. And F color, I'm going to do red. And everything else looks correct, so we should be able to just leave it there. All right, let's do our live coding. All right, build failed. Do we need the rest of the parameters, I'm guessing? Yes, it does. Let's see, color, persistent lines, false. One, zero, and then, I don't know, three will be our I'm missing one here it's set ah that's why I'm missing segments so I can actually get rid of the last remaining parameters after the color let's do I don't know um 10 for the segments and see how that goes okay place it down can see we're at zero 
Now we're at negative one. And we're at zero right there. And I'm not exactly sure why it is hitting at zero there. Because it definitely looks like it's overlapping. Out of curiosity, I'm going to bump this up to something along the lines of five and just see if a bigger radius actually solves the problem. If not, we'll just have to see. I'm not entirely sure if it's colliding with something or what the deal is there. So is it just this entire right side? Okay, so it seems like it's everywhere but the corner. Does this have collision? Yes, it does. Well, I'm not entirely sure what the issue with that is there. We'll just have to, I guess, come back to it whenever we get that far to make use of it. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.